The BBC series returned to Walmer Castle on today's episode, which saw enthusiasts from around the country gather with various antiques and collectibles in an attempt to get them valued, when one man presented a rusted tatty racing Sign he'd bought 20 years ago, however, expert Lisa Lloyd was instantly excited to share her valuation of the item. What would you pay for a sign like this? She asked her captive audience initially, as the crowd only increased slightly on the owner's guess of £250, going in the right direction. Lisa agreed. I think if this were to come up for sale in a really good motoring a classic car auction, I think it would make £1,015,000. BBC Antiques Roadshow participant was left speechless to Dave Cantiques Roadshow the owner couldn't believe his car. Sign was worth so much Big Antiques Roadshow Lisa Lloyd was delighted to reveal the true value of the item. Darling I love you car sign owner taken aback by the incredible price, the owner was speechless for a full few seconds, before eventually managing to comment, no. No, he sputtered. It's been in the garage, it's been a sleeper. The audience suddenly erupted into laughter as the owner declared, Darling I love you, before giving the item a kiss. Oh, oh, truth, he continued, as the shock still hadn't left him. Thursday, June 22nd, 2017, this Fabre flower brooch has reportedly been valued at up to £1 million. BBC Antiques Road show the owner. Admitted had bought a car sign for £10 20 years ago earlier, the man had admitted, I went to a junk shop to buy some militaria. I couldn't find anything that I wanted and as I turned around and walked out I noticed this on the wall, and I just said, that's for me, and that's what I did, I bought it on the spot and I've loved it ever since. It's my epitome. If what speed and those ages were. It cost me £10 at the time. Antiques Roadshow continues tomorrow at 8am on BBC2.